Quarantine Monday here. Today we're going to make uh, kintsuki bowls. Kintsuki is the art of mending broken things with gold. And um, this practice highlights the places where the bowls have been broken. Um, and it tells us that uh, to not hide our imperfections and to show the places where we are broken and to celebrate it. And then in fact, once the broken pieces have been repaired in gold, it enhances the value of the project and enhances that value of the object. And instead of an ordinary bowl, you have um, a piece of art that you can use in other ways. So first, here are the supplies that you're gonna need. You need a hammer to break the bowl. So you'll need a bowl. And gold art paint for ceramics. I have this in a champagne pearl. Um, and a little dish to put the paint in. I just use the lid of a prescription bottle. So whatever you can find around the house during this time. Um, and hopefully you have either some latex gloves to use and if not, um, some finger cots because you're going to be working with broken pieces of ceramics and we want to protect our fingers. So, lastly, in order to break the ceramic safely, uh, we want to wrap it up in some sort of um, butcher paper or in this case around the house, I have a puppy pad and it's perfect because it protects the ceramic and it keeps the pieces from flying everywhere once we wrap it up. So there you go. Okay. So you take the bowl. It's a it's a nice looking bowl. But it's ordinary, and there are many other pieces like it. Um, and it's really only where the cracks begin to happen that that makes a piece unique. So first you place the bowl um, right side up, and you want to make sure you're tucking the paper into the bowl. Okay, and once you have that snug, you flip it upside down. And we take the hammer, and... I want to give it a good crack. Ooh, that sounds like it was a pretty good one. Kind of like when you have a ordinary set of plans, but something happens to them and breaks them all apart. So now we flip the bowl back over, and since we've safely secured, um, you'll open this back up. And here are the pieces of your bowl. Um, then you're gonna need some ceramic glue. And if you have any masking tape, any paper-based tape, that would be helpful in this project as well. Um, and lastly, you'll need a paintbrush. Right. Examine the broken pieces. It's metaphoric, really. First, before we begin to put things back together, put things, um, you know, piece it back together, you got to look at all the pieces, the big pieces, the small pieces, the little pieces. And when you're putting it back together, not all the pieces are going to fit and you may, and that's okay. Um, so here, you want to start by putting together the big pieces. And um, so you can kind of see how this bowl will come back together. We're going to get to gluing now. Okay. You are live. I am live. I don't know how to do this. I've never done this before. Um, but, you know, when you're in quarantine and lockdown, it drives you to doing some pretty strange things. Next thing you know, we'll be doing our dance videos like everybody else. Um, but that'll be a while because it's going to take me a little bit to 
glue all these pieces together and wait for it to dry. You're literally watching glue dry. Okay, so we quickly, fairly quickly, got the big pieces in the gist of the bowl, but now you see that there's a hole in, the, in there, and that's okay, um, because that's kind of what makes it unique once we finish it and highlight the cracks um, where the pieces are, we can highlight it in the gold paint. Um, and if you stick a candle in here, the light will shine through where this hole is. But when you're working with crazy glue, sometimes you have to hold the pieces together and patiently wait, count to 30 or maybe more until it bonds. Um, and other times you may need like the masking tape to hold the pieces together until it dries. Um, and it's kind of like sometimes when you've got broken pieces, you're going to need bandages for a while. And I've done this project with other people in the room uh, where I've led the workshops. And when there are other people around, sometimes you can even ask them for help helping to hold your pieces together. Um, there's just sometimes the way the ceramic breaks, it can be really tricky. So it depends on how yours ends up. And so if you need help from somebody to help hold, help you piece it together, don't be afraid to ask for help. Okay. Tracing the cracks on the inside of the bowl in gold. Um, I happen to pick a brown bowl. You can either pick a different color of paint or um, something with a little more contrast if you prefer. But I can still see the little vein of gold in this one. And on the outside, you can see how this piece now has its own unique design. Um, so, Kintsuki, the art of mending broken things with gold and highlighting the imperfections and flaws. Thanks!